Libra, oh Libra, what's up Libra gang, what's going down baby, it's popping in the life of a Libra between now and the 31st of December, how are we ending out this year, you guys, when I tuned into your energy, I'm a Libra rising first and foremost, there was a feeling of scatteredness, like that whole damn emotional roller coaster that I was experiencing earlier in this week and partially last week as well. I felt like the energy of like hot, cold, hot, cold, leave me the hell alone. Um, uh, all of that, all in one. And it just came back to me and hit me like a hurricane. I mean, you guys, and I felt the need to take a lot of deep breaths. So during this time, a lot of you guys may be taking a lot of deep breaths, you know, and that's very healthy. It's, it's also a way to connect with spirit, okay, as well as yourself and to release that, you know, extract that um, that heaviness, you know, because for some of you all, you, you know, you're learning how to release that, you know, in a healthy way, but there's definitely some internal shifts, like the skills I feel like are doing this here, you know, so, you know, I'm uh, meant to resonate who I, uh, with whom I resonate with, so y'all roll with me. Hey, boo, hey. All right, um, I'm Mocha. Hey, boo, hey. Also, <laughs> look out. I may cuss a little. I may cuss a lot. Just depends on what the hell these cards say, okay? So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader who can resonate with you better on YouTube. I love you long time. I'm not upset with you, okay? Uh, to my new subscribers, to you guys, welcome to the family. We are dysfunctional. We may cry. We cuss. Okay, but we don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. Okay, we do love, we share, we grow, we evolve, we enlighten. All right. So you guys, we're just one big happy family, and welcome to the channel. Uh, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the family. Um, to my returning subscribers, family, y'all, these shifts though, these windfalls of emotions though, <laughs> this moon energy and Cancer though, it's about moving forward, just taking what we need you know, along the journey with us. Everything else that will weigh us down or become heavy within our hearts or pretty much within our internal space that we need in order to truly, truly, truly progress forward. Spirit is saying you cannot take that with you. You guys, this is some crazy I'm I'm literally I'm literally sitting here doing your reading and I just seen a field of like beautiful white birds, like maybe like about thirty and they just came back. <laughs> maybe about thirty of them just flew by and you guys I feel that there's this feeling of reset, renew, push forward, you know. Um, I also, and I promise, it's like the fact that there's so many of them. A lot of you guys are truly, truly, truly needing to see all of the abundance around you. Because really, spirit is really trying to show you some things and push you to some massive heights. And ultimately, I just pray you guys are ready. Right? So this will be for my Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, as well as the Cross, cross Watchers. Oh cross watchers for the sign of Libra between today the 24th now and the 31st of December all right so we're gonna get it rocking I did pull the angel message for you all and I'm going to reveal that at the end okay and so we're gonna get it popping we're gonna get it popping in this is not a personal it's simply a general um if you need a personal that information can be found in the description y'all better get y'all damn personal reading in because look it's going on a break y'all I have worked my ass off past year and this will be my first time taking a break slash vacation getting things in order and structuring things out the way I need them to go and pushing forward and really excelling and expanding in different areas other than um, tarot as well as my music so y'all this is going to be quite a year and I know that a lot of you all can really 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 attest to that alright so let's get it spirit please show me the messages what messages is it leave us now and the 31st of December, the end of 2018, y'all, we, we made it, we made it, y'all, shit, it's been quite shifts, the good, the bad, and the motherfucking ugly, okay, all right, Yeah, some of you all are really, really, I, I feel like some of you all are really, really doing this time. You're putting on this poker face, and I feel like some of you all are really focused on your ciabatta, your bread, your shmoney, your cheese, okay? Your coins. But I feel like 
there's a need to deal with this internal conflict. And I and I and I'm literally hearing um uh, turn of events, turn of events, karmic, karmic, turn of events. So some of you all may be having um so, well, some of you all may be having a huge epiphany during this time. I feel um in a big ass aha moment as far as your past and the clarity that you're going to be receiving. And I feel like it's going to allow you guys to heal in order to push forward so that because along the way, Libra, there's this sense of lacking confidence, you know, or having this self-doubt, these self-fulfilled prophecies as far as, you know, how things are going to work out moving forward and, and things that you're just accepting as a defeat. But Spirit is saying no more. This injustice will be rectified. Yes. For some of you all, it's having to do with a um, with a partnership or some form of duality. A lot of you all are really needing to pull away from yo. How can I put it? I gotta, no, I'm extra as shit. A lot of y'all got to pull away from yo. We side so much and focus on the me side. And that me side definitely includes family. It includes self-care, healing. Taking your spiritual baths, truly, truly, truly processing your downloads and receiving them and interpreting them from more than just one perspective, especially not one from a lower vibration as far as expecting defeat or, you know, I feel to tell you guys, it ain't what they call you is what you answer to, baby. All right. Yeah. So during this time, there's going to be, you guys are in self-reflection mode, going over your past. Libra, there's a need for you all to truly, truly, truly be grateful during this time and not really see the glasses. I think I, I don't know what sign I told this, but not really see the glass as half empty, but it's half full, babes, because I feel some of you all, there's this internal conflict within the self. It's, it's, it's as if the higher self, that ascension that you guys have been going through, especially for the past, really since that Venus energy take, uh, took place in Scorpio, I feel that you guys, there's a shifting trying to occur. And it's really elevating you to higher heights. You guys are truly ascending during this time. Some of you all could also be having telepathic communication, possibly with a twin flame union. And Libra, beware of either being manipulative during this time or a manipulator. Because I truly feel that y'all finna have to really get through the test of time. Something that could have really broken you down in the past. Maybe someone could have tried to emotionally manipulate you into making a decision or Maybe I'm hearing not making a decision by not making a decision to keep you in this feeling of stuck or, you know, this self-sabotage of what you did wrong and really, really kind of stuck in your head. And it became a period of obsessiveness. But, baby, let me tell you something. What goes up must come down down. OK. Hmm. There's a sense. There's a need to truly, truly, truly get in tune with yourself. Truly, truly, truly try to take as much self-care time as you need, baby. A lot of you all need to start dedicating, just like you dedicate yourself to everybody else and their agendas and helping everyone else in their projects. Dedicate that same energy to your damn self and plan your projects, momentum forward. What is it that you needed to know? What is it that you needed to research? A lot of you all are really needed to be in tune with the emotions that you feel. So that you can recognize them later going forward on your journey. To know I've been there, I've done that. Last time I felt that a motherfucker was trying to play me. So nah. But to know, to find that balance between the emotion. As well as the analytical, intellectual, practical side. It's the emotion, emotional. <laughs> oh, words fucked up. Yeah. Some of you guys are really needing to turn your pain into power. And for some of you all, I'm hearing creative. Some of y'all are very creative. Some of you all paint or write. For those of you who write, some of y'all are really needing to get by a big body of water. There's a massive download coming to y'all by water. It's the water element. During this time, you may be receiving downloads. A lot of y'all are having prophetic-like dreams. 
And I feel like it's connecting to something or someone that you could have moved away from. And I feel like there's been some type of space and like time in between a certain circumstance or situation. For some of you all, you were literally born on this path to pretty much break the cycles of broken family cycles. If that makes sense. Some of you all are really holding on to what hurt you, who hurt you in the past. Instead of truly recognizing how you move forward to heal yourself and what you accomplish by turning your pain into power. It's time for you guys to publish some of those writings. I'm hearing ebooks. Some of you all even want to write children's books for children with some type of um some type of disabilities or down syndromes. Some of you all are truly needed. For those of you who don't remember your dreams, because spirit is really speaking to you all during your dreams this time during this time, and I feel like it's giving you a different perspective of a situation or a certain someone or something to give you clarity on something that I feel like a lot of you all have been waiting for. But free will is a motherfucker, so people may or may not answer the call. But this is definitely a time of rectification and momentum forward and turning your pain into power. Your intuition during this time is going to be on fire. You need to trust what it is that you feel. And when you receive your downloads, Libra, don't sit and think, okay, well, maybe tomorrow, maybe no, right down now, let's move. Okay, let's move. There's a need to move forward. Hmm. For some of you, it could have to do with, yeah, and, and for some of you all, there's been someone observing you or your work. Some of you all are healers. Some of you all are also um, tarot readers. Um, some of you all may also be um, Reiki specialists. I'm hearing meditation um, composer, meditation music composers. Some of you all, some of you all are sorcerers, white witches. Somebody in here got a hell of a connection to a dragon, to dragon. Somebody got a pet dragon. Somebody under the moon goes and do like some type of medieval rituals. I don't feel like it has a, a dark energy around it. I feel like it more so has something about protection of the home, your children. There's needs for some of you all to focus on your health during this time. Libra, if, if, if you keep getting the message to go to the doctor, take your ass to the doctor. It's a reason. God uses people. Spirit uses people. The universe puts people in your path to tell you what it is that they need you to know. But yeah, there's definitely a financial blessing coming for you all during this time moving into January. A lot of y'all, whatever it was that you were trying to grow, whatever it was that you were holding on to, I feel that if you turn your pain into power, some of you all are really going to expand in a massive way financially, man. But you're needing to let go of the actual hurt and actually deal with the internal emotions so that you can move forward. Learning to trust your intuition, trust what you felt the first time because you felt it for a damn reason. And truly put whatever it is that you've been working on, truly that hurt, that internal conflict, put that. There's a way that you, you guys are going to use that to help others. All right. So let's get it. Spirit. Let's talk with my Libras. The matters of love. My was expect. And now it's the 31st of December. In love, okay. Yeah. Some of you all, again, it's funny. Some of you all have been nurturing a project. Some of you all have been nurturing your children as well. 
I feel like this is more so a protection. Some of you all have been trying to protect yourself, your family, your energy from toxic people, toxic situations, or possibly someone that was toxic or someone that I'm hearing emotionally atta emotional attachments. But I feel a very interesting spirit. But yeah, some of you guys are going to definitely be reconciling possibly with someone who you have children with. And this could have been a toxic relationship in the past. This could also deal or having to do. This could also be having to do with Capricorn. But I feel like this is definitely someone who you've dealt with before. You could you could have actually ended a cycle with this person in the past due to unhealthy attachments. Okay, this person could have been very negative. I'm also hearing emotionally abusive for some of you all. For some of you all, this person could have also been physically abusive. Even if they're not a Capricorn, they could also be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But I strongly feel that. You in your head about moving forward or allowing another allowing another cycle or a cycle to complete itself in order for you guys to move into a new one. This could definitely have to do with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could have been a situation. You or this other person was at one point trying to man up oh, sorry, was trying to manifest this situation. For some of you all, be careful what you wish for because I feel like either you or this person have been obsessively putting your energy into this that's preventing you guys from really focusing on what it was that you were passionate about and there's a need to truly 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 embrace get your emotions to find that stability within your emotions okay and to release yourself from this toxic energy some libra some of y'all this could be you obsessing over a person or obsessing over a particular hurt but for some of you all this is definitely someone who you could have children with or could have had some type of family dynamic with but some of you are what was unhealthy is that this person could have drank too much smoked too much or spent too much of the finances um well i feel like there was a lot of finances that could have been going out on unhealthy attachments and this person and i feel like you've been there done they wrote the damn book and i feel like this person is coming forward to bring you some truth either you or this other person manifested this reunion but oh my goodness here they ass come Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. <laughs> With your whole ass. <laughs> okay. Nobody got time for that. But yeah. Some of you all could have actually been dreaming about this. Or for some of you all, you and this person could also have some form of a telepathic connection. For some of y'all, this person could have really been in their head about how to come forward. Because I feel like this is someone where there was a lot of love. You could have actually had a lot of stability with this person as well in the past. As well as passion. But there was something that was very toxic to the relationship. For some of y'all, this person was just a hoe. Some of y'all could be getting some uh, truth and clarity regarding a water sign. And this could have, yeah, for some of y'all, this is going to allow you to actually remove yourself and actually get the clarity that you need to heal. Some of you all, I feel that you had some type of epiphany that I feel some of you guys could have asked. Some of y'all got mutable energy within your chart or you could be dealing with a mutable sign but i definitely feel the energy of astro traveling with some of you all some of y'all could be actually receiving spiritual truth of why this had to end so that you can get that that mental clarity that emotional clarity that you need to find that stability with yourself to move forward and take that leap of faith okay and this could have to do with an aries person as well But I definitely see a, a leap of faith being taken. And I feel like Libra, you or this other person could be defensive during this time. I definitely see a lot of fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, okay? But I see that someone has really, 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 someone is trying to prevent, prevent, this, prevent this door from closing, Libra. And I feel like you've gotten the truth and clarity that you need to somebody just to hope. Or some of y'all could have actually intuitively found out that someone had someone pregnant okay and they could have been talking real good game wanting to go into a new cycle with you and then boom but some of you all feel like you had a dream about it and then now it's actually coming to the surface but there is going to be a balancing of a situation if you choose to take a take a leap of faith towards something new okay this could be a creative endeavor as well as a family situation y'all 
And y'all could be moving away from a damn family situation. You know, who knows? But I do feel there is some 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 form of movement, yeah. And it could be that someone has a lot of options. Libra, maybe you want to go explore your options after being tied down for quite some time. Looks like to a hoe. Or by a hoe. Yeah. Some of you all, Libra, this could be you. Communicating very sternly up front. No games, no manipulation. Letting the person know, look, if you're going to come forward towards me, because I feel like there's a mutual energy of wanting to fix a situation or a circumstance, okay? Especially having to do with home matters, I'm seeing, because I feel like you've been eternally conflicted about letting someone in for quite some time. You could have just, I mean, with no damn warning, no nothing, cut this person off. Or you could be doing that during this time. For some of you all, it could be a watch time. But yeah. You could this could be someone who actually made you feel rejected or made you feel as if you weren't good enough. Oh, Libra, some of you guys could have had some type of in, infertility issue. Maybe you could be in your head because you want children and you could find out that this person has gone out and made children. And this could really, really put you in your head, but don't allow it to because I'm hearing this is a catalytic situation in order for you to move toward your blessing that God really has for you, the spirit has for you, baby. Yep. Thank you. Thank you for the confirmation. It's about moving forward. Leaving all the shattered glass. Everything that once was. All these damn lessons behind. And understand that we're leaving this behind. If I choose to walk back, there's a chance that I might cut my damn feet. So this has to happen for a reason in order to, to build strength and endurance. And for me to overcome the battle of me, my lower self, trying to walk in to being receptive to the energy of where my higher self, my soul, is trying to evolve those fears are no more they cannot go with you moving forward that doubt that feeling of lack or a lack mentality it is very important for you guys to speak affirmations into your world during this time and truly 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 move on what it is that you just knowing your soul is your calling some of you all are musicians some of you all, there's a need just for you to take that leap of faith and put your work out there and stop doubting who's going to not notice it or who's doing what, what's doing what. There's a need for you to walk in your authentic self. And for some of you all, you're healers, but you're just afraid of what everyone else is going to say, possibly due to some type of mental abuse, I feel. Or negative ass mental programming that could have possibly been caused by possibly the absence of a father figure or a mother figure. Yeah. For some of you all, this could be involving a Leo person. I feel like you have to fully detach yourself from someone. And I feel like you're really in your head about it for some of y'all because you really love this person. But again... It's about taking that leap of faith. Taking that leap of faith towards something new with this butterfly. As well as something new that brings you balance. For some of you all, it's a cancer. But I feel like this cancer, this chariot is about forward movement. Away from the vibration of lack, what once was. Some of you all were dealing with someone, you couldn't have someone... Who has an issue with accountability okay for some of you all it could be a Scorpio but I feel like you guys are moving forward and leaving the old you behind everything that you once knew you some of you all are gonna leave most of that in 2018 and truly 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 get out of the habit and leave the habit of people pleasing in 2018 and roll into 2019 with Libra first. Me first. Me first. What is important to me? Where do I want to be? What are my long-term goals? 
the fact that I keep seeing all these damn seven, some of you all, um, some of you all during this time, this is a hell of time to play the lottery or go to the casino. I feel some of you all, if you've been feeling this push or pull to go gamble, please go. And don't say, oh, Mocha told me to go blow my money. No, the hell I didn't. Please use rationality. But for some of y'all, it's just a movement into this newness. It's funny because those damn white birds was out there flying. And ironically, this newness is covered with those white birds. Spirit wants you to know that moving forward, you will be protected. Okay? You will have what it is that your heart is trying to obtain, rectification. For some of you all, you just really wanted a traditional, a traditional lifestyle. You know, you wanted to have the happy home. Okay? Healthy family. Stability. Practicality. For some of you all, it's entrepreneurship, and I feel like it's going to make you take you taking that leap of faith and moving towards what it is that you love, your soul screams for. Because for some of you all, it has to do with your life purpose. Some of y'all, you're healers again, and it's about moving forward. Moving forward. Past the obstacles. Past the trials. And being grateful. And really, really, instead of choosing to look at your hurts, choose to look at your accomplishments, baby. I'm a badass. Libra badass. Very healing time. Protect yourself. Protect your energy during this time, please, Libra. Thank you. For some of you all, yeah, this could have to do with either Virgo and Aries, the father of your child, someone who's possibly very controlling as well. This is also a past life hurdle. Free yourself, baby. This cycle is over. It's only alive as you allow it to be. Let's get some clarifiers for my baby. My babies. Let's see. Move some stuff just a little bit. Ugh. All right. It's about being a boss. Understand you the you you the boss, Libra. <laughs> you was always the boss. Now it's time for these motherfuckers to come back to recognize. You understand? Spirit clarify the strength card. Yeah, for some of you all, all right. This is definitely manifesting, having the strength to push forward and manifest what it is that you really want in your reality. All right, whatever it is that you've been working on, okay, that you've been in your damn head about with this damn devil call, whatever it is, some of you all have been having very negative thoughts about either putting in work with the person, place, the thing, or putting in work really, or moving forward and working on what it is that you're passionate about. But some of y'all is starting your own business, actually being in business for yourself because 2019, I see a whole lot of entrepreneurship in this thing. But some of you all, it's actually moving past the cycle where there was third parties turbulence okay where it wasn't a whole lot of damn communication but a whole lot of fornication up in this motherfucker the sun card yeah for some of you all this could have to do with the pisces okay for some of you all this could have to do with the sagittarius and for some of you all this could definitely have to do with you releasing yourself from that mental entrapment baby and moving toward your destiny moving toward what spirit has for you Watch this emperor here. Yeah. A boss. You a boss. You a boss. For some of you all, it's definitely the father or mother of your child, okay? Moving forward after some type of truth and clarity. Some of y'all could be, again, some of y'all could be finding out somebody had a baby. And I feel like you asked this person about it and they bold face lied. Yeah. Some of you all, this could have to do with a Taurus as well. And for some of you all, you're just coming out of this place of indecisiveness, okay? You're now starting to see, I got options, all right? And this could definitely have to do with a Sagittarius or some type of family dynamic, all right? But I feel like for some of y'all, you coming out of this place of being indecisive about a marriage or some type of commitment or some type of tradition. For some of y'all, you creating your own damn tradition, okay? What works for y'all may not work for me. Just because you allow people to cheat on you and do what the fuck they want, that, does, that, that don't mean that that works for me. <laughs> I know that's right. Yeah, some of y'all are taking a leap of faith towards rectifying a family situation. If you're rectifying your family, baby, definitely push for it. But definitely be willing to put in the work, okay? And I'm, when I say put in the work, it's not about 
playing poker face, playing games, the emotional tip for tat games. It's not about doing that because for some of you all, you, some of y'all have new babies with someone. Some of y'all could be finding out that you're pregnant and this person then went damn ghost because they just want to be a hoe. But they're having to learn right now during this cycle that everything that glitters ain't go. And again, I told you what goes up must come down. You just have to be receptive, open. There's a need for you to shift your perspective and not approach your issues or approach these things from an emotional place. Definitely express how this made you feel. And definitely express your self-worth and set up boundaries with this, whomever this is or whatever this is. Because moving forward, that's going to be needed within your journey. But however, you have to be willing to put in the same effort. To be honest, the high priestess, yeah, for some of you all, some of y'all, this could have to do with somebody who could have been very emotionally manipulative. For some of y'all, this could have had to do with somebody trying to, um, some of y'all could have found out somebody was hiding money. Some of y'all could have found out somebody took, stole from y'all. That shit deep. Don't go to jail, leave. Well, y'all crazy when people be fucking with y'all money. Yeah. Some of y'all are moving forward. Moving forward after a heartbreak or some type of deception. And it definitely has to do with your transformation because I feel like this is definitely something in the past that you tried to hold on to. Okay? And whether it was you holding on to the person or the actual emotion behind the person, even after that person had been gone for some of y'all here, four years, four months, you know, but there's definitely a balancing act happening right now. And the end of cycles, y'all all got tens. All these damn tens. We end this shit. Yeah, and intuitively, some of you all could have been dreaming about this. Some of you all could have been manifesting this. Some of you all, it's a new end in one cycle and going into another. A healthy cycle. Where someone could have been defensive. This could definitely include the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. A soulmate. It's also have to do with a Leo. But there's definitely movement forward, baby. Okay? Definitely movement forward. Why is this Father of Swords here? Yeah. This could definitely be someone who you could have been married to. This could be actually ending a karmic cycle. Okay? Ending a past life cycle. Actually settling the karma. For some of you all, I definitely feel like this could have to do, if you having to do with court matters or some type of like child support, I'm also hearing fraternity tests. Maybe someone was holding on to some particular truth, trying to control the situation. And I feel I'm seeing paperwork. So maybe some of you all could also be receiving some type of financial blessing from maybe the father of your child. And I don't feel like you see it coming, but this is someone's way. Because I really don't feel like whomever this is, they don't know how to really approach you but they really want to apologize and they want to fix it but you have to be open to being receptive and loving and moving away from and, and being optimistic especially if this is including a marriage you can't just up and leave your damn marriage but some of you all i feel that this is the opportunity to you know talk to this person about counseling some of y'all are going to be going to therapy or counseling in order to move forward i feel like in the past where this person wasn't open to this then now they will be but for some of you all, it's meant for you to move forward because this person was only a lesson for you all, but a catalyst to your growth going forward and your success going forward in a healthy relationship in the future. Because this person, by not communicating, showed you how to really taught you how to communicate effectively as well as realize when somebody got communication issues. Somebody here got mommy issues. And it could be you or this other person, you and this other person, Libra, and you're really needing to deal with that. Because it's preventing you guys from really being open to being vulnerable. And being vulnerable enough to love yourself and know when enough is enough. Look, I'm not going to cry. But there's definitely a need to move forward and be receptive to love. Because true love is coming for you all. And it could come in the form of a water sign. I have a lot of signs here. The angel message that I pulled for you guys was relationship harmony. It actually fell out. Sorry, y'all see how I do the cards jump. Archangel Rangiel. I hope I said Ragiel. Ragiel. I hope that's I said that right because I just be dissecting damn names sometimes. Sorry, Archangels, baby. I'm sorry. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts 
are being resolved now. So I feel like whomever you were dealing with, Libra could also be going through an awakening. I'm also seeing that as well. And now this person is wanting to come in and rectify things. And it's, it, it can move forward if you are allowing. All right. So this is what I have for my babies between now and the 31st of December. Please let me know if this does resonate in the comments. Y'all know y'all. I read all my comments. Y'all, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. We rolling into the new year with some newness. I'm trying to expand. Mocha is taking off. In the month of January, I'll put it in the community tab when I'm open to readings, but I'm going to do January monthlies. Um, So please stay tuned for that. But, ooh, and I will be live on the 26th because we're going to make a year. It's the channel's birthday. It's our birthday. One year anniversary birthday. So I'm very grateful for being able to take that leap of faith and turn my pain into power. You guys, I ran from this for two years. So thank you for allowing me to share my love, my light, my wisdom, um, my clairaudience, my clairvoyance. <laughs> you know, thank you for allowing me to share my gift and share my soul, share my light with you all. Without you all support, this would not have been possible. Thank you guys, family. Thank you so much for supporting me in my music endeavors as well. Y'all, thank you. I just, I'm so grateful. And I got to say, y'all, I love y'all family. This has been quite the journey, but God damn it, we made it. So I want y'all, before the first comes in, because I see all this scattered energy and you being in your head, I want everybody to write down the good, the bad, the ugly, the lessons, and what you learned and what you're grateful for. At least 10 things from now until January 1st. And only take the gratitude and the lessons with you. But leave that heavy heart in this year. Leave all them scattered thoughts and them toxic thoughts and that heaviness here. This year. Okay? This is what I have for y'all babies. Much love, much light. Namaste. You need that reading? It's in the description. Hit me up. Love you guys.